Yeah, you can ask. Just, just give me a moment. Yeah. So for those of you joining late, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Once again. Uh, Shruti, just a moment. No, I'll, I'll just give me a minute. Then you can uh, start asking your question. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for understanding. Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, thanks a lot for joining in. This is a specific session for those students who have written their December, November examination. And for some reason or the other, they are not they didn't, they were not able to clear. And that's where we want all of you to bounce back. OK. I understand that it is not very easy uh, when you see the you know marks which are not as per your expectation. There will be multiple reasons. We'll have a look at some of those reasons and how you can overcome those reasons in the next examination, in the next attempt that you are going to have in May, right? And uh, feel free to ask questions. So you can type it in the chat box. You can unmute yourself and ask. I'll be you know more than happy to take it. And before I open the question, you know, uh, the time for questions, uh, a few things I would like to share from my experience and from my side, and then I'll take up all your questions. Okay, so you can just, yeah, to have in name, right? And uh, feel free to ask questions. So you can type it in the chat box. You can unmute yourself and ask. I'll be, you know, just a moment. So now just a broad framework of where we stand today and uh, what should be our broad strategy in the next you know three to four months of time that we have so today we are in january and it's all almost half of january is over so assume we have 15 days in january we have 28 days in february 31 days in march and 30 days in april so this is the amount of time you have whether you are writing one group whether you're writing both the groups here in this time frame where you need to double up your efforts you need to figure out where all you have gone wrong and you have to set it right in this period only okay so the reason why we waited for three you know couple of days uh, to start this uh, session is you settle down okay uh, accept that yes whatever has happened has happened uh, we need to learn lessons out of that we cannot go back and change our past and we need to learn lessons out of that and then use that in the no next item that will be writing in May. So roughly, if you see 30, 30, 30, 90 plus 10, some 100 days time is left with you. And in these 100 days, you have to promise to yourself that, yes, you will put on the required time for studies. I am expecting at least eight to 10 hours from each one to you. And I'm being very straight, OK? Uh, I'm not here to you know say that, you know, think positive and things will happen. Uh, keep yourself motivated, because it's difficult to keep motivated. When you do not get the results that you have expected, it is very difficult to keep yourself motivated. But whatever happens, you need to start. We need to start, have a plan. Because see, if you, even if you are able to put 8 to 10 hours a day, you have these 800 hours in hand. That is 100 hours per subject if you are writing both the groups. So you have time in hand. It is just that you need to start going forward. You need to start moving forward from where you left. Okay. So that is one thing around your time thing. This commitment I need. I need this commitment that, you know, yes, we will be spending eight to 10 hours of time per day dedicatedly for our preparation. Right. Now coming to few aspects where student miss and, you know, we keep, we do a lot of tracking of the students, the syllabus completion and all of that. Very important to have the syllabus completed. A lot of us do selective study. A lot of us, you know, feel that, you know, if you listen to fast track classes, we will clear. See, first thing is full 100% syllabus completion should be there. If you are someone who have been just, you know, I'll listen to the revision lectures and I'll pass. I'll refer to the short notes, I'll pass. It is not going to happen. You have to make a plan to complete 100% of the syllabus. After the first time you have completed the syllabus, when you are revising, then you may put more focus on important chapters, less important chapters and all of that. But don't start with only fast track or don't start with only revision lectures. Because I'll tell you one thing, if you read 100, you know, within a month or so, you will be able to retain only 50 to 60 percent. After two months, you'll be able to retain only 20 to 30 percent. Now, if you're doing a fast track and you start with 50 to 60, by the time you reach the exams, you will remember only 10 to 20. So that is how it works out. So it is very important to complete the syllabus, first thing. Second thing, 
I don't know what is the problem with a lot of students. They do not write mock test papers. I have spoken to a lot of students who have passed uh, from uh, at our end. We have spoken to people who have got rags. Uh, we have spoken to others. We have students who have not cleared in the previous two, three attempts, and then you know, then who's prepared and who cleared in these attempts. This is a very important part of their preparation. Practice makes a man perfect. So mock test papers are important. Before you write the main examination, you have to write the mock test papers. How many of you here have written mock test papers? If you can just respond it, uh, you know, by type, typing in the chat box or by raising your hands. How many of you have written mock test papers? All eight subjects or four subjects? So only three have raised their hands, right? So this is one area where you have to put up your effort. You need to plan. Don't take any paid service. If you don't want paid mock test papers, at least write mock test papers, which is conducted by the Institute. And I'll tell you this practice, this feedback here will help you then practice sufficient number of MCQs because MCQs are the one which can help you score that extra marks to pass in the examination, right? These are the broader things. and dedication and discipline to put up this many hours of effort that is what is needed i understand it is very difficult from you know coming back and having looking at the marks not getting the marks that you have expected and then you are not alone Law, you know if you see this time i think around uh, 1.4 lakhs if i remember clearly you are not alone this is the group which i am referring to right so there are others around you now what to do next one get your certified copies And the reason why I'm asking you to get certified copies is to understand where you made a mistake. Because I have seen a lot of cases where students think they should get five out of five, but then when we point out their mistakes to them, they realize that yes, they did something wrong or something incorrect there. So that is one aspect which you have to look at. You have to get your certified copies. If required, you can share the certified copies with us. We will help you with where you went wrong, where you can improvise. Okay. Now, I'll open this uh, you know, uh, forum for questions, What, whatever questions you have, whatever you want to ask, whatever you are feeling, type it out in the chat box or ask us by unmuting yourself. Either way, it is fine. It is an open discussion. No need to feel shy. No need to feel ashamed. You are not the only, only person who has not cleared. There are, there are lack, more than a lakh students who are at your state currently. Okay. So there's nothing to feel shy about. If you have any questions, one by one, you can ask. And I uh, you know I'll be more than happy to. Excuse me, sir. This is Madhu. Yeah, Madhu. Uh, so, uh, more than 50% of syllabus is still pending uh, for May attempt. I'm going to write May attempt. This is my first attempt. So, uh, Madhu, uh, okay. If it is okay if you complete at the end of February, that is perfectly fine. Okay, okay. Okay, others. Uh, initially, someone had a question, right? I'll just stop the screen share. Okay, so we'll start. Should we wait for new scheme? I want to join article ship. Uh, I have already created a separate video for that. You can have a look at it. Okay, Ankur. Uh, got FR, SFM. You got exemption. Nice audit and law. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, uh, individual uh, uh, the screen resource is there, no? Yes. Free resource. Yes. I actually I got uh, print out that one and uh, this one also imported no, sir, uh, which provided in uh, course. Correct. So which uh, which one I have to refer? You know, I think uh, Madhu. So this session is uh, specifically for people who have written in December examination. We'll have a separate session uh, for people who are writing in May twenty three for the first time. Okay. okay. So uh, that way you can refer to either of the two. That is perfectly fine. That is the you know you need the free resources. Or the paid ones, both are fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, Shruti. Uh, sir, actually, uh, I have given, I'm in CA Inter. I have given group one exam. Uh, okay. And I got 163 marks. Okay. Uh, and uh, I was preparing for uh, group two in May 23. And I have completed my audit and uh, EI system classes. And uh, um, advanced accounts, 30% classes completed. 
Mm-hmm. FM just just started. So only three months are left. So uh, should I appear for both group or should I appear for single group only in group one again? Okay. So uh, can you tell me where did where did you find difficulty in the first group? Like which paper was difficult or which paper you could not clear? Uh, so uh, I got a forty in accounts, forty five mm-hmm. in law, forty one mm-hmm. in cost, and uh, thirty seven in tax. Okay, so you're very, मतलब very very close. Just another some extra push is there. So what you need to do is for okay, this is all for the for those who have cleared one group in the current attempt and oh sorry, not cleared one group and they want to write both the groups in May attempt. As I told you, you still have hundred days in hand and it is possible. So what you need to do is. divide the day in a way where one part of the day you focus on revision of group 1 and balance part of the day you complete the syllabus of group 2 that way if you prepare it will you will be in a position to get ready by you know maybe around march end or mid april you will be in a position to cover the syllabus and you will be able to write if at all you are not able to complete the syllabus even by let's say march then you can think of dropping group 2 and writing only for group 1 but i think you should fill the examination form for both the groups because uh, sometimes what happens is with uh, the help sir, of yeah so i used to in pl i used to study for many hours uh, but when i means when i go to write exam so that means i don't feel confidence or um, before exam day i can say before exam day i was not so confident and uh, that day only i i'm uh, did something means uh, that don't mistake happened and i don't know what happened and no no yeah, uh, i i understand so means see what I, happened hmm. uh, so means i don't know uh, where i am lacking so okay. what should i do so again uh, coming back to the, the two aspects right one is the preparation aspect one is you uh, know one side is you have to commit to yourself that yes i'll complete 100% what is needed for the examination okay that is one aspect second is a lot of us we go through this phase of you know uh, even it was with me also We used. I used to be scared before the examination. What happens if a difficult question comes? What happens if I am not able to clear? What happens if I fail? Because it's a professional examination, right? So if you are getting this, you know, uh, anx- anxiety related things, I don't know. Every time you are worrying about it. So what happens is you'll keep worrying about things that may not happen, right? So if if the if you feel that you no, know, continuously I've been worrying during the preparation stage and also before the examination, uh, I would suggest you know uh, you can take. Uh, you can get a mentor's a mentor uh, who can guide you through how to prepare and all of that even if you don't want to reach out to a mentor you can practice few things like uh, you know deep breathing exercises that will help you calm okay then don't study for 14 or 16 hours uh, take 2 to 3 hours of you know 2 hours of study time take a break listen, do your hobbies listen to music again then get back okay that is how you'll keep yourself motivated if you can't yes say yes. so how many revisions to be need Minimum two means around two. One to three is fine. Maximum is three. Three is more than sufficient. Even if you are able to do one to two revisions, that is sufficient. And so means uh, like only three months are left. So means how should be our preparation like? So for group one, you can plan for let us say three hours time. You can allot to group one for revision, which will cover all your subjects, four subjects. Okay. and for group 2 balance whatever 7 hours are left in that 7 hours you should try to finish that group 2 okay okay thank you sir okay yeah then hello sir yes kamal uh, sir um, uh, i wrote casting uh, so many times and the casting paper was very tough for me Uh, in the civil station, some sir uh, easy, but uh, in this exam, uh, how they ask very uh, creative manner. So how to approach casting and also accounts paper also time consuming consuming paper, but also but but it is very easy. Uh, so uh, how to uh, mitigate this? Uh, okay, so Kamal, tell me one thing. Uh, did you write a hundred mark mock paper for accounting and costing? No, sir. Okay, so and was it the first attempt this time you wrote? No, sir. No, already I, I got two attempts before. Okay, so what happens is, see, if you look at any, you know, uh, person who is performing, any person who is preparing, writing. Look at simple example. Look at cricket players. Before the before the match, they will have something called as net practice. Correct. 
before the world cup we'll have matches played against you know some small teams and all of that even in the you know world cup also what starts so what happens is when you directly write in the examination you are already under pressure you are already under pressure that because on the that is the 3 hours that matter to you if you know if it doesn't go well in those 3 hours then it feels like you know you have lost everything so before that what i suggest is you please write one mock test paper or one actual exam paper take the same exam paper that you have written in uh, the november attempt take the same question paper set yourself 3 hours of time start at 2 o'clock end at 5 o'clock and see can you finish that in 3 hours time okay and i keep on telling to my students and this men pers personal experience also even if you are able to complete 90% of the paper decently that is enough you don't need to attempt 100 marks but it is not that you can pass by attempting 60 marks or 70 marks so when it comes to time management time management can come only with practice okay so did you solve past exam papers no sir i just uh, see those paper what are the questions see, no 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 so that's what happened no the one of the major thing with a lot of us is we look at the solution and we believe we know the answer that is what you feel right for all of it and it see please remember this is not an answer to kamal this is an answer to everybody okay just because kamal has asked don't think that is not our problem what we do is we take the suggested answers or we take the study material. Then we start reading the solution. Achha, I know this concept. I know this concept. I know this concept. Then we go to the next question. I also know all of these concepts. So like this, when you start doing what happens is you don't get the practice because I it's, and this is something which I have also done. I remember the first paper financial reporting in CA final. I was not able to move the pen for first 15 minutes because I didn't have written practice. Everything was based on computer only. So preparation and all we did, I did revision, uh, reading the books and all of that. When you sit for writing in the examination, your pen, you are not able to move forward. And especially these days when everything is online, uh, office work is also online. Everything is based on typing. You know, we communicate online. Everything is online. So nothing physical. So writing practice is very, very important. Don't, so if you feel that, no, I don't want to write the mock test papers, please write attempt past examination papers and you know, these past examination papers, when you write two or three exam papers, then you get to know, okay, these are the type of questions which are being tested. This is the pattern combination, which is being tested and accordingly it will help you to solve. Okay. Yes, Vinay. Sir, good afternoon, sir. Yeah, Vinay, good afternoon. Sir, actually, uh, uh, in my fifth attempt, I have cleared my group one examination. Okay. And by that time, I had already studied group, uh, group two twice. When did you clear? Fifth, um, so, May 22. May 22. Okay. So here so I think, no, no, wait, 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 uh, just, just a second. Uh, for all of you who are listening, uh, Vinay can be of good help and he can be a good, you know, encouragement for all of you. He's, he do a second five items. I cleared after that means we, we have, we have a lot of things which we can learn from him. Okay. Yes, Vinay. Yes, sir. Uh, I started my preparation in, uh, from after results only I've joined uh, lectures for advanced accounting. Okay. I started studying audit. But sir, uh, I was also, I also started appearing for test series, okay. but sir, I, uh, I was not able to allocate sufficient time because sir, I was reading audit, but sir, after a few days, I was not able to recall. I was, it was like, I'm studying from again. So too much time was consumed. So I was not able to study EIS properly mm -hmm. and equal also, sir. So I was not able to give proper attention to each subject, sir. So time okay. allocation, timetable, number of days, number of hours. Okay. Okay. So you attempted right now in December. Yes, sir. I, I got very uh, less score. 125 got sir, in group two. Okay. Okay. Now two things, Vinay. One is subjects like, especially audit and EIS. Okay. Uh, these are the subjects where we need to remember and keep on revising. Unless you have that, you know, inbound uh, or ability to love theory subjects. I don't know how many of us here, you know, really love theory subjects. But if you ask me personally, also, we had something called as uh, information system control and audit. I scored only 44 in that in CA final. Okay. Now these kind of papers, what happens is especially with EIS, where you have to remember lots of concepts. And the only way to remember how many classes you attend, how many ever time somebody tells you, the only way to remember is to revise. Now, the issue with EIS and audit, same thing happens even in law also in group one. If you read it and if you leave it for two months and if you come back, you will feel that you're starting all over again. Okay. 
practical subjects what happens is because you have practiced some problems because you have solved some problems you are able to understand that yes okay this is how you know we have to solve a question for example revaluation account now one revaluation account you would have done at least you know in 15 questions you know what is to be done in revaluation account for at least 70 80% things you know but for eis and all what happens is one concept one paragraph another concept another paragraph another concept another paragraph so the only way which can help you is every day you have to say okay these two are my subjects where i need to remember more so every day one to two hours per subject i will allocate for example for you eis one to one and a half hour audit one to one and a half hour every day and this has to be in your best time every one of us have a couple of hours in in a day in you know different slots where we are at our peak performance okay yes somebody can do somebody have that peak performance peak performing time in the morning somebody in the afternoon somebody in the evening somebody someone is like you know i can read my best between 11 to 2 at night no st standard rule but identify which time can you read the best and in that point of time you read these two subjects writing also is required simultaneously for yes, example sir. if they ask us eis business process you know reengineering restructuring whatever is that bpr whatever they call there are some seven eight points read once write once then keep on revising okay and that is what will help you in theory subjects like we practice in practical papers multiple number of questions same thing in theory also you need to do and one more thing is make sure you have read through right from 2017 onwards till to 17 18 onwards till 2022 whatever exams have happened you have gone through all the suggested answers and all the rtps and all the mock test papers you have read it at least a couple of times because from that lot only you will get 30 to 40 marks question and i'll tell you if you go back and see you will see repetitive patterns in the questions yes sir i have noticed it so you have to read that you have to do it that way so that you can you know clear it same strategy whatever you have applied for law or when you cleared the law examination that yes, is what sir. to be done sir so uh, further i all sir yeah vinay sir actually i have i want to start article ship right now so i will ha hardly have no four to five hours uh, in a day okay because i i will have to travel from my city mm -hmm. for minimum one and a half hour for for one trip so near to near 3 hours for traveling so i will hardly get 4 4 to 5 hours so, in a day okay yes sir so, so why not sir, take a place to stay near the place where you are doing article ship you will save 3 hours of time so uh, actually in, in the city which i live there is not not so much exposure so i am traveling to thane city so where do you stay as i stay in bhivandi sir Th from thane so it is take a place uh, take a place near thane no uh, Take a place Dombi Valley. Dombi Valley, not, not, not affordable, sir. Okay, because I know Mumbai travel is painful. I understand that. Okay, so um, the so one... should I start from two subjects, that is advanced and FM, and then shift to other two subjects or see or when you are so one thing what you can do is uh, because you are facing challenges in theory. Whenever you have time at home, you read theory. Or or in train because in train, so I I don't think you, you would be traveling a local only, right? Or how do you? Yes, sir. So yes, in sir. local, so very difficult to find place and uh, you know st study. So one one thing what you can do is you know if you can listen to something when you are traveling, that can help you. That is that. Yes, sir. Help. I will do that, but uh, especially for EIS, I was I was not able to understand how should I start. start uh, with our revision lectures no those are available so start with that even if you, you know don't want to subscribe you can start with the revision lectures and then you can take a call because that will help you give you some confidence listening something will also give you something right okay sir thank you sir yeah okay thanks vinay and uh, vinay one thing uh, one one help i want from your side is uh, what did you do differently when you cleared group 1 if you can share for a couple of yes minutes. sir sure sir thankful for uh, all of us who are listening this uh, session so actually in first year i'm right i was from cpt background so i was uh, late in joining the classes so i started in february okay. and the classes which i joined the sir suggested that sh i should not join because already uh, 50% syllabus was over okay so but i wanted in my hometown only i said i will do self study but uh, it was not that uh, i was not comfortable so after that i did self study but in first attempt i got failed drastically i scored 134 okay. 
and then i joined again classes uh, year heard some lectures mm -hmm. and in november 20 attempt i uh, uh, given the first group again i decided to pursue both group but at uh, end of 30 15 days before uh, exam i i gave uh, i thought i will give first attempt uh, uh, group 1 in november 20 and mm. group 2 in jan 21 so i scored 171 because i uh, studied both groups so in jan 20 i scored 148 after that i again started uh, joining joining lectures of accounts and tax mm -hmm. uh, in may 20 uh, in uh, may 21 i scored 191 okay. so i thought i will i was i will able to i will able to appear for both groups so i started audit lectures and eis mm -hmm. but uh, uh, it was not i was not capable enough to appear for both groups so okay. in december i fumbled and i give only one group and I just scored 161. And after that, I have appeared for test series for May 22. Mm -hmm. I have written test series. I was, uh, and the best thing was, sir, I uh, did something different that I was studying with my friend, mm -hmm. uh, especially tax, uh, tax and costing, okay. which helped me, sir. Uh, it was like I was, ex uh, I was explaining to her, she was explaining to me, group, mm -hmm. group, is group study, and it okay. was helpful. Okay. So that was one thing, test series and group study. Okay, so I think few tips what others can take up is, uh, so he realized that he cannot write both the groups and uh, because he could not write both the groups, he took a conscious choice to write one group and then, uh, you know, uh, clear that. And yes, you can have someone who can, you know, if you can make a group who's up, but then you need serious students, okay? Yes, sir, don't, yes. Do, don't get people who will do time pass or, and then, uh, you know, you lose time and uh, they lose time. So that way. So, so, Okay. Because we also got one more student who scored 161, 193, and 215, and they he cleared us. So I was just confused that whether you are the same student or not. Uh, he's a different student, anyways. Okay, yes, thanks. Uh, so somebody else had raised the hand, please. Uh, May I, sir? Yeah, Gauri, please. Uh, so this time I genuinely studied very hard, like for three months. I have done everything, like appeared for mocks and all, and the score of mocks were also good, mm -hmm. and the concept were also um like uh, the concept were also pretty good in my mind. Mm -hmm. But though I was I'm not able to clear. Now I am thinking where I went wrong. Like uh, I'm not able to understand where I went wrong because whole day I studied for three months. I understand. You you are done with group one, right? If I'm not wrong. Yes, yes, yes. This yes. attempt or previous attempt? Uh, May twenty two, I have done with uh, group one, and November twenty two, I have appeared for group two. Okay, so fine. So now the challenge is FM. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, the concepts are clear from my side for FM, but mm -hmm. the time uh, time I'm taking to solve any question is uh, like more because I can't remember the answer given by module. I just read the question and apply my mind on that. So I'm lacking the like I'm applying my mind in every question and it is taking very much time. No, no, but then, uh, uh, you know, are you not following what is uh, given in the class, the pattern given in the class? Yes, I'm following, but uh, some adjustment, they are tricky and they, like, I fumble there and uh, if the step is wrong, then your whole answer will be wrong. Okay, so I think, like, the, uh, yeah. The, uh, this time there was tax treatment like into a one minus tax. I I just uh, like divided by one minus tax. So I fumbled there in last five minutes and did the question wrong. So okay, so I think so one thing what comes up is when when these kind of silly mistakes happen right uh, in the examination uh, that is because of the extra pressure we take. Okay, so you would know that yes we have to multiply and it happens with a lot of students also you know. You know what is to be done. After the exam also, you know what is to be done. Before the exam also, you know what is to be done. And in the examination time, we forget. Okay. And yes, I have sir. also gone through it. Yes, sir, that was uh, only the thing. So before the hall, you know all the formula, everything you can write. After the exam gets over also, everything comes back. Those Now that three hours of challenge is the pressure. The amount of pressure that we take, natural, and it's natural. Okay. It is not that uh, I cannot ask you not to take pressure. It is natural. Whoever is performing, uh, you know, uh, if uh, if you look at a player also performing, there's a lot of pressure. So, something what you need to inculcate when you are writing actual examination is to relax. If at all you are feeling tensed, take a minute off and take deep breathings. 
that will actually help you calm your mind and then you will be able to recollect the concepts okay that is one i would like to have a look at your uh, you know uh, fm paper because i i have seen you progressing and i have seen your answers of law also uh, in the previous attempt when you had shared your certified copies okay so i will i would you know please send it to support and uh, i'll have to look at you know where where is the issue specifically when you're saying you know you're not you're doing some silly mistakes and then i think we can work upon it and how about other subjects yes so i scored good marks in audit and matlab good means uh, not very good but yes good no, no, but i i think he is also good okay so don't think that no, it is no just 45 i scored <laughs> okay uh but uh, i think i'm not good at audit like uh, i i i i scored in mcq i think i'm not able to write audit okay so now and i uh, advance account and esm essm i'm okay with that okay so but you didn't complete the standards fully audit also fully fm uh, i think you have not taken with us you have taken somewhere else that is okay but then when i'm seeing audit uh, standards you have not completed fully you need to complete that no so 100% syllabus completion is also mandatory so actually that were not applicable to uh, some standard were not applicable Achha, to okay, my okay. attempt okay okay then that is fine okay sure fair enough so i think i'd like to have a look at your fm okay don't talk, uh, subscribing or not subscribing uh, you can decide uh, maybe you know uh, after a few days also till the time you can revise other uh, subjects and then uh, after looking at your paper i can you know give you a suggestion whether you need to subscribe or not to subscribe okay okay so yeah then uh, we have one question any guidance on how to complete class and study along with class i have group to class to complete should i complete classes first and then focus on studies is there any way to do both consistently so when you are listening to classes listen to the classes take some time out half an hour or something to recall recollect summarize make your own notes and you know you can uh, write it that is you know that that way it will help you to complete now for all of you i want all of you to apply for the certified copies start preparing right away don't get into this mode whether we should start whether we should not start even if you have decided you please start writing away for those of you who have taken more attempts like we have been anyways he is he has cleared one group and he is writing another group uh, for those of you who have taken multiple attempts five attempts six attempts seven attempts you know uh, on in this group or someone who is listening on youtube you should start thinking for alternate you know courses or alternate career options because you you take already 6 7 attempts 10 attempts to write ca inter and then you look at some post on linkedin which says i cleared after 10 attempts i cleared after 20 attempts and you feel that you should continue to do that you continue your ca journey i am not saying drop your ca journey but then do look at alternative courses like you know if something interests you like acca or maybe some cfa or cma whatever courses that interests you or you think would be useful because after some point of time there will be a pressure from on either on your own or from your family that you should start earning okay and you will feel on your own after after a certain age you feel like you know i should not be asking money from my parents i have been struggling and all of that and this will help you build confidence also i i have i have met people who have dropped ca in 2012 2013 then they wrote other courses you know one of uh, one of the person who i know that person wrote cs another person i know that person wrote acca ca inter completed ca final drop then wrote acca after clearing one examination you get that confidence and then again coming back to ca and completing the ca program so take a conscious choice this is not something what someone has asked but that is from my side at a personal level after some years you know you should start looking at okay is there is it worth enough to continue i know it is passion i know this is our goal i know all of you have dreams to become chartered accountants continue doing that but consciously think of it give yourself a time okay five attempts six attempts ten attempts. by this time if something does not happen i should start looking for alternate options also okay any more questions uh, you have okay so sanjay says uh, good afternoon sir i appeared for the first time i got very low score skip some part of the syllabus so should i prefer group 1 or group one completion plus two no so another another very important question which has come up should i write group one and aim for exemption in two subjects should i write should i only prepare for two subjects write all the four papers and get exemption there is no guarantee that even if you prepare for two subjects you will get exemption i am telling you because 
I remember during when I was writing exams, I was expecting at least exemption in you know all the practical papers. But in costing, I just got sixty, just borderline. Information system, I got only forty-four. Some question tricky comes in the examination, your exemption plan will fail. So if you have not yet completed group one, not even completed fully, please complete group one. And only if you have time left enough to fully prepare for group two, then prepare. Why I am telling you this is. The moment you decide, today itself we have decided that okay, I will write only two subjects. Two subjects means what? Group two, anyways, you cannot pass. Okay, that is first thing. Second thing, the mind starts thinking that anyways, you know, group two, I am just giving it for the sake of practice. Why should I give full effort? You are not thinking. Your mind will think. Anyways, I am writing only two subjects. No, so why should I give full efforts? Anyways, I will not pass. I may get exemption. So the effort will not be hundred percent. The moment you start saying, "I will do only one subject," "I will do only two subjects," efforts will not be hundred percent. So for you, I would suggest personally complete group one. And uh, if I, if you can share, how much of syllabus did you complete? Percentage basis, if you can share. Seventy percent. Okay. So. The need is to make it hundred percent, at least one study of hundred percent, and then come back and. I'm telling you, it is possible. It is possible if you complete hundred percent. It is very much possible. But if I complete seventy percent, then it is not possible. Because I'll I'll tell you. Uh, ignore the rankers and all of that. Average marks or average score most of the students would get is around 50, 40, 50, 55 percent. Most of the students would fall in that category. Now, if I prepare only 70 percent, then I'll get only 35 percent. Okay. So now, uh, uh, one more strategy that you should all should, you know, attempt or approach is take advantage of MCQs. So, for example. We have MCQs. If we go subject by subject, we have MCQs in law, we have MCQs in tax, we have MCQs in audit, we have MCQs in EIS. Okay. Now you have 30% that comes from here, and you have to get 70% in the remaining paper. Okay. Now make sure, in fact, I was chatting with the uh, AIR one the other day. You know how many MCQs she has practiced? 2226 on our platform. Okay, only MCQs. She took classes from wherever she had to take, but MCQs. And I was just, you know, when I uh, talked to her, when I spoke to her, like continuously practicing MCQs so that she gets that perfection. Okay, so if you are able to score, don't score thirty percent. You score only target for twenty. And most of these MCQs would be based on concepts. If you remember the concepts, most of the cases you will be able to score this. If you score twenty in MCQ, then even if you have to score 50, you have to score only 30 out of 70, which is only 40%. In theory, written paper, even if you can score, you know, if you write 70 marks of paper, you can score 30. That I think that we should, it should be manageable, right? So this should be the strategy. Try to practice as many number of MCQs as possible. Get your conceptual clarity there. And that is what will help you to take you through. Okay. If you look at, uh, you know, a match, every ball is not hit for a four or a six. Wherever there are, there are bad balls, you hit for four or six. Same way here, easy MCQs can help you pass. Okay. So please put that in mind. So to quickly summarize, certified copies, yes. Those of you who have not completed 100% syllabus, please ensure you complete 100% syllabus at least once. Don't directly start. See, there will be enough videos. People who come say how to pass exam in 30 days, how to get a rank in 30 days, how to finish this in 25 days, 30 days. There are exceptions. Everybody cannot prepare in 30 days and write the examination. Start today. Today is the time you should start. Start today and plan and write. Okay. How is it possible to revise EIS audit eight times? You have to give time out. You have to, because that is difficult. So you have to revise more. I revised uh, information system four or five times. Direct taxation, I, I refer to three different author books because that was difficult for me.
while writing seeing video and then writing it is taking 3 hours so don't write everything no so see if you are watching 1 hour of video normally you should be able to finish it in 2 hours time or take copies of notes keep it alongside with you and whatever you find important or something unique in the video just note that part if you write everything given in the class then it will take a lot of time and you will be wasting more time in writing than understanding and see one thing one more thing is uh, every person every student has their favorite subject every student has their weaker subjects every student has their favorite subject you have to identify what are your favorite subjects and ensure that those favorite subjects account for 50 60 55 60 marks which will help you to get the overall accuracy okay. then apart you know whenever you need any kind of help if you have a doubt in the subject if you have any you know query in preparation if you have anything like that you can make use of our forums that is one then for those of you who have this you know mental stress stress it is not bad okay having stress is not bad everybody has stress we have stress how to run the business okay a school going kid has a stress how to you know go to school how to finish the homework and all of that you have stress of your examination everybody has if you are over stressed and because of which you are not able to prepare you please check out our uh, mentorship program which is one to one you'll get some tools and techniques that will help you to you know overcome that stress because under a stressful situation you will not be able to prepare uh, you know in the way you would want to so vijay for audit you can refer to raghu's classes uh, essays we have not yet added to the students whenever we add you can refer to that especially the questions part and that should be sufficient content is same it's not about content being updated you know it is about uh, as a strategy because uh, ragu has speech issues so we wanted uh, someone who can take it full time and then you know the teach that's the only thing okay yeah so any more questions you have on you know what is to be done or what can be done okay so i think uh, i have covered uh, you know whatever i had to share but yes i want all of you how to remember audit remember audit again by revising only yes it has a lot of questions from ici mcq booklet uh, case studies questions are not covered but other than that uh, there are a lot of questions which are covered but see mcq practicing on a daily basis even if you can spend uh, 15 to 20 minutes uh, you know of time every day you will be able to remember something some concepts some penalties some section that will help. see it's not about practicing mcq for scoring in mcq practicing mcq also for remembering the concepts for example if there is a tricky you know uh, fine or let us say they have asked you to calculate tax tax liability and you have some doubt in long term capital gains whether 112a is applicable or what is applicable by practicing one mcq that concept will be clear and in fact we had introduced mcqs even before icai had introduced you know mcqs because it is what will help you to practice yeah then uh, how to prepare eis sm and audit i think i covered i'm again you know quickly revise you know uh, re recapping it for you these are the papers which require you to remember a lot of stuff so understand refer to the notes keep reading the dedicated time every day some subject one or the other subject in your peak time keep reading keep revising the more you revise the more you will be able to remember okay then how to write theory paper in our own language with conceptual understanding and yes in fact for audit and all we have a separate video on how to prepare we'll have one more session on how to approach auditing and all of that you can have a look at that how to write theory paper in our own language with conceptual understanding now theory paper in our own language means what two things you have to keep in mind one side headings should be as per institute technical terms should be as per institute now what do i mean by technical terms for example professional skepticism sub sufficient and appropriate audit evidence then you have something called as reasonable assurance communicating with those charged with governance these are technical terms now don't write communicating with board of directors then you will not get marks 
you have to write communication with those charged with governance you know management the responsibility of management to prepare financial statements financial reporting framework these are technical terms these terms you have to use use the side headings then here and there you can fill your verbs and subject and all of that you will be able to answer applies for law audit eis sm also right now i want all of you to promise to yourself and also to me that you will complete 100% of syllabus at least once you will write at least one mock test paper whenever you are anxious whenever you are scared stressed you have you know take deep breaths and do it sir uh, is having multiple attempts of shame or a black mark on our career i think a uh, very very important question and uh, i want all of you to remember and understand that once you become a chartered accountant and once you have worked in the first company after that nobody will ask you how many attempts did you take okay so keep this thought outside your mind that if i take three attempts to pass or if i take five attempts to pass then it will be a black spot will you say if kohli does not score for five matches he gets out at 00000 and then he scores a century will you say his century is not valid there are enough players you know you can look around and you can see there are phases there are phases when students boss i have seen okay i have seen students who have scored 90 95% in the 10 plus 2 they also struggle in fact at one point of time i had also thought i should drop ca because it was taking too much of toll on my health okay the pressure and you know the amount of uh, work you have to do amount of things you have to remember right so that is one thing where you you know i would suggest that this thought no this thought is a emotion which is negative you are, if you plan that in your mind then your mind will start finding reasons here anyways it has become three attempts so let me not prepare what will happen so one thing you have to understand is once you become a chartered accountant you are a chartered accountant okay first second i have seen i have in my friend circle also who have taken four attempts three attempts five attempts some of my friends have taken four to five years to complete ca they are doing reasonably well and they get new amount of respect because after you qualify after you start working your work matters your qualification does not matter ca will give you a platform you qualify ca that will give you a platform to start so let us say you know we are uh, different people so someone is a rank holder he will be here you are here this is the level okay after that it depends how each one of you run it depends how each one of you run starting gap is there but then you can overtake or you can at least be par that depends on you that 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 does not depend on your rank holders after my first job in the second job nobody asked me how did you get a rank nobody asked me nobody cared what matters what did you do in your previous organization how did you help the previous organization what is the value you can bring what is the communication skills you have all of these things also matter okay so i have i have okay i have enough examples you know if, if at all you want to you know but i can uh, in one of the student meet i have called one of my friends also they have they have dropped ca they have continued something else and they are still doing good okay then uh, there are there are ca ca friends of mine who are doing business they have dropped working in a you know working in any other company so i uh, what you do is you know write this on a piece of paper that you know multiple attempts is a black mark on our career tear that paper and throw it off till the time that feeling does not get out of your mind write it on a paper tear it off and throw it off because after your first job it will never matter what will matter is what is that you can get to the company what is the value you will add to the company only thing will matter is that okay so once that emotion is out you will be able to focus more and prepare better for the examination right so uh, thanks for asking that question i think it gives uh, confidence to others also that number of attempts will matter only in the first job or first time when you are you know starting your career after that your network your communication your ability to learn your ability to perform that is all what will matter okay chalo i think uh, it has been a good discussion uh, good questions thanks for asking these questions of freely and being open in the platform and any more questions we will continue to have sessions and uh, you know and see some days you will feel like uh, i don't want to study take a day break but don't take 15 20 days break and yes uh, one important thing i forgot to tell all of you 
this phone is there right this uh, phone this you get some notification on the phone and then you open the phone then you get something on whatsapp you open whatsapp then you get a youtube link then you go to youtube then youtube you get suggested videos then you go to the suggested videos then you open instagram then something else comes up try to avoid these kind of distractions you keep it aside have a dedicated time to you know look at the notifications have turn off all the notifications nothing is going to happen world will continue to function your family will continue to function only thing that should come is your phone call whatsapp notification instagram notification youtube notification all of this just keep it as a yeah indigo land notification you should keep it on sometimes because sessions like this you will not get to know but keep it aside and you know have a dedicated time to check all of those things don't get lost especially what happens in uh, youtube and instagram is mindless scrolling you start with one video in youtube continue to keep on suggested video suggested video and then titles are also like that no what will happen new syllabus why are you bothered about new syllabus new syllabus is for november 23 attempt you are writing in may 23 attempt and if you are writing in may 23 attempt what is the point of new syllabus but somebody created a video on new syllabus let us go and watch then somebody says okay some important announcement result pass percent analysis then you will watch something else then rrr got uh, you know some award that you will watch then something happened somewhere that you will watch then you will go to instagram continuously keep on scrolling that is taking away your concentration time 30 seconds videos and all eating away your concentration time taking the time that you should be spending in studies okay so where however you are learning whichever uh, you know uh, uh, way you are learning you are going to a physical class online class pen drive class whatever class you are doing what you need to do is focus ensure there are limited distractions okay uh, so keep that aside and that is that is one thing which you can say so even if you can say one hour per day for the next 100 days out of instagram youtube and you know whatsapp and all of that you will have 100 hours you can complete one subject okay so that is one more thing uh, you know want to share with you and uh, thanks a lot for joining in asking questions and uh, see vijay in the in long run no this five months six months will not matter okay so you are already in january by the time you register it will be february then march april again you'll have to go for exam deal finish what you are doing write the exam and then immediately after exam you start your architecture Three, four months will not matter. Okay, please keep that in mind. Three, four months of uh, time will not matter. Delaying three, four months will not. In fact, you'll be more mature when you start working. Right? Chalo, uh, thanks a lot. You've been a nice uh, you know, audience. And uh, thanks for the questions again. That's how the session was fruitful to others as well. And uh, anything, any help you want, please reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you. So bye-bye and all the best.